Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey, today we're gonna look at the Oxbender from Many Lendenfield. Okay, so what is the Oxbender? The Oxbender is a one-handed coin bending utility that nobody will be able to see in the palm of your hands. In fact, I'm holding it in my hands right now. You wanna watch the trailer? This is it. Oh my God. Hello, I am Minnie Lindfeld and I proudly present to you the Ox Bender. Now here's what happens. A spectator takes out a coin, signs the coin, you then instruct the spectator to hold the coin in his hand like this. You do your thing, and when he opens the hand, the coin is bent. Now, as you can see, I've bent this coin, and I've done it in front of the camera using just one hand. This is how good the Oxbender is. The Oxbender is unlike any other coin bender ever made. It is the world's first single-handed coin bender. You will be able to bend signed borrowed coins using just one hand, while the other hand is free and open the entire time. The Oxbender is fully angle proof, so you can perform and use it fully surrounded. The Oxbender is designed to produce clean bends, so no scratch marks are left on the coin. You can also use the Oxbender for bending, twisting, or breaking borrowed keys and for bending perfect neck twists in a signed spoon. The Oxbender is a hassle-free, lightweight gimmick that you will easily carry around with you everywhere you go. All right, so that was the Oxbender from Many, Lendenfield, and MS51. A couple questions we always ask about all of our magic reviews, and the first of which is, what's in the box? What's in the box? You're gonna get the code, okay? You're gonna get the code to download the video. The video is 53 minutes long, and you're gonna get the Oxbender gimmick. Is it what I thought? Uh, you know what? I didn't know what to think because I've never done metal bending before. I've never done spoon metal bending or coins or anything, so I, I mean, I, I knew how some of it was done, but I just, that's not what I do. So uh, it, it was really cool. Like I, I, I opened it up and immediately I could see, all right, this is exactly uh, what it is. And I figured it out, but no, it wasn't what I thought at all. How are the angles? The angles are 100% angle proof. It's crazy. Uh, Many talks about how he did a coin bend for a magic shop owner, and uh, after he left, the magic shop owner went back and pulled his tape for his security cameras, and then watched them over and over again until he figured out how Many did his coin bend. And so what Many wanted to do was create a coin bend utility that you could keep in the palm of your hand that could go all the way around. So it had a 360 degree uh, view angle so it's angle proof there's just no way another person or a security camera could ever catch you on this and like I said I was holding it in my hand it wasn't in the box I was holding it in my hand at the very beginning of the video can it be inspected there, there's nothing to inspect really there's nothing to inspect you're making the coin bend you hand the coin out the coin can be inspected but uh, you know yeah it's a gimmick there's nothing to inspect what's the overall quality and production value of the video uh, the video is really good um, you get a lot of over-the-shoulder shots okay a lot of over-the-shoulder shots uh, performing at a table you get really nice close-ups and uh, you know through this he's showing you exactly what you need to see you don't need to stare at his face through the whole thing you know you need to see the coin bender in the hand you need to see the coins going in you need to see how it works in fact uh, he does a really cool thing where he paints 
the gimmick red so that you can actually see it really well. So whether it's palmed or you know whether he's showing it from the backside, like he makes it visually stimulating so that you can really see how it all works. Is it well made? Uh, it's extremely well made. It almost feels kind of flimsy just because it's plastic and it's so lightweight. I think we have uh, a go-to that says, oh, if it's not heavy, then it must be cheaply made. But it's not cheaply made. It's really well constructed. Um, I will say this, I will say this, depending on the country that you live in, okay, uh, you shouldn't bend any coins that are two types of metal. You know, the silver centers that have the gold outside or vice versa. You can't bend those, okay? Uh, and the smaller coins, like say a penny or a dime uh, in America, they need a little bit more leverage uh, just because they're smaller. And that, that kind of goes without saying, but many does teach you uh, a technique. You could modify your gimmick for small coins if you are like the guy and you only bend dimes and pennies. But basically if the coin fits and you got the strength to do it, it'll work. How much practice does this require? Uh, you know what? It doesn't require any practice to do it. Cause like I said, I opened the box, saw it and played with it for like a second and then ran downstairs and I bent a quarter in front of, in front of my wife and I, without even watching the video. So I knew how to do it immediately. Uh, so the practice is gonna be in your timing all right, and then making it look casual, making it look like, you know, holding your hand casually. So, well, something like that. So, but like I said, I bent a coin on the very first try without even watching the video. How much setup and reset is there? There is none, none, son. You bend the coin, hand it out, walk to your next table, you're ready to go. Positives, all right, so what are the positives to the ox bender? You know what, if you never thought coin bending was possible, many has brought it within reach for you. The gimmick is so easy. I used it right out of the box with no instructions. This is an everyday carry. Negatives, all right, so like we say around here, there's negatives to everything. These are just the negatives that I see. They don't have to be the negatives that you see. Uh, I only had one negative for the whole thing, and it was the background music for the video. I didn't like it. It, it actually, if you, st if you, and you're supposed to tune it out and not listen to it, but because I do reviews, I listened and uh, oh yeah, uh, so. Um, this is, this, no offense, but no offense to many or, or MS-51, but this is really what it sounded like. It sounded like the music that plays in the background of a haunted house, okay? It sounds like one of those old vinyl records your mom used to buy that she would play when the kids came over to trick or treat. It sounds like a haunted house record. I, and I don't know if he's trying to make it spooky, like, ooh, coin bending, but that's just me. I, I, and that doesn't mean there's ghosts or chains clanking. I just, it just sounded like haunted house music. That's all, that's, that's just what I think. Is it worth your money? It's a hundred bucks. It is a hundred bucks. So you really better want to bend coins, but you really want to bend coins and you've either uh, never bought a device before or you've bought devices in the past and now you're sick of them. So who would like this? Uh, people that are serious, people that are serious mentalists or people that want to do a serious strength act, people who are prepared to spend a hundred bucks knowing that they're going to get a quality made gimmick, uh, a great instructional video and just something that's going to last them forever. And like I said, a hundred percent viewing circle for your pleasure. Like no one is ever going to see you hold this in your hand. Hand. I'm holding it in my hand right now. No, I'm not. But I mean, it, it looks that good. Like literally right now I'm holding it in my hand. Okay. This is what, this is how much space it occupies. Like literally you won't, um, hold your hand like this. This is not a casual performing view. Like, Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my show. But you could do this, right? You could hold your hand like this, hold your hand out. So you take up less dynamic, right? So, I mean, that's totally possible, but yeah. All right. So that is my review of the ox bender from many Lendenfield and MS 51 As always, I want to thank Murphy's magic for supplying this so that I could do the review for you. And if you would like to purchase this trick for yourself and you should, you should. You can find it from your very favorite Murphy's Magic dealer. Thanks. Bye.